spilling champagne on a boat, big pimping. Life is but a dream, look, bitch, stop tripping. You know what it is, you know what it isn't. She just. Heyo, what's poppin' guys? Welcome to another video. It is Saturday and this is the official Oscar nominations um, talk show right here. You know what I mean? Ugh, no. What is up guys? How are we? It's Saturday, happy Saturday guys. Heyo, it's me, Luizy21. Welcome to another video. Benvenuti a tutti. Um, in this video we're talking about the Oscars. It's all about the Oscars. This weekend guys. Sunday night, the big night, I'm going to be there, live on the red carpet. No, but there's one there's one film that I really hope is up there, and that's a disaster artist, just because of this guy, Tommy Wiseau. If you don't know who he is, let's run through a few of the best moments from the original Room, the Room, the film. Such a legendary film. a few moments I'm just gonna just gonna put up here just to refresh your memory if you don't already know anyway th there was a remake of this called The Disaster Artist which is a film about the film The Room with Tommy Wiseau featuring directed by you know he did everything basically and nobody knows where he's from how he got all his money and it's a long story and if you watch The Disaster Artist uh, where James Franco does a great job of playing Tommy Wiseau down to a T. Um, you'll see all the, all the things I'm talking about. And it's a really interesting story, to be honest. But he's just such a funny guy. So I'm going to roll through these moments. Um, brace yourselves, because it is weird. It's weird as hell. If it loads, it's going to load... Yeah. Yeah, can I have a dozen red roses, please? Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. Here you go. How can you not know? That's me. How much is it? It'll be $18. Here you go. Keep the change. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I was working as a busboy in a hotel. Doggy. And uh, you seen that, guys. Uh, she was sitting, drinking her coffee. And she was so beautiful. And I say hi to her. <laughs> That's how we met. You didn't so get it, did you? That son of a bitch told me that I would get it within three months. I saved them bundles. They're crazy. I don't <laughs> think I will ever get it. They betrayed me. Look they didn't face, keep their though. promise. They tricked me and I don't care anymore. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Uh, and it gets that face though, like why are you putting that face? Dude, the other actors, just a chicken. Yeah. Chip, 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 chip. But you come out now, Johnny. It, She's so. gone. In a few minutes, bitch. People are very strange these days. Minutes. I used to know a girl. She had a dozen guys. One of them found out about it, beat her up so bad she ended up in a hospital on Guerrero Street. <laughs> What a story, Mark. <laughs> you are lying. I never hit you. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. <laughs> you know what they say. Love is blind. How was work today? Oh, pretty good. We got a new client and the bank will make a lot of money. What client? I cannot tell you. It's confidential. Oh, come on. Why not? No, I can't. Anyway, how is your sex life? It's not over. Everybody betrayed me. What I fed up with this world. 
How is your sex life? You can love someone deep inside your heart and there is nothing wrong with it. This is true though. If a lot of people love each other, the world would be a better place to live. And that's it. World peace right there. Those are the best moments. Anyway, let's talk about the nominations for this year's Oscars. I want to remind you what happened last year. But first, let's have a look at this year's nominations. And here we go. Oscars 2018. The final predictions of the major categories. Let's get it. Alright, so... I'm going to skip this little video at the beginning. Go straight down, guys. Alright. Come on. The Oscar gods have bestowed a nail-biter upon us for this year's 90th Academy Awards, wow. Not since 1999, face-off between Shakespeare in Love and Saving Private Ryan has the best picture ever felt this close. Yeah, I'm just paraphrasing. Shape of Water, Three Billboards, Outside Ebbing, Missouri. What a long name for a film. A right tongue twister. But yeah, I'm not going to read all of it. Best picture, let's have a look at best picture. As we scroll down here. Avoid all these adverts. All right, so here we are. Call me by name, by call me by you name. What? Don't know, don't know about that. One. The darkest hour. That was um, Winston Churchill, basically. Gary Oldman did a good job of that. Dunkirk. Get Out, Lady Bird, Phantom Fred, The Post, Shape of Water and Three Billboards, Outside Ebbing, Missouri. I'm not going to say that, I'm just going to say Three Billboards, but yeah. The nominees for the best female, what's it called? Um, yeah, so, same films basically. And as we... Go down. Yeah, it's still quite a close one. And best actor. Denzel's up there as well, I didn't realise that. What's Daniel Kaluuya. For Get Out. I, haven't, I have seen it, but like... Horror. Not horror, but like... Kind of scary, kind of thriller feel to it. You know, that edgy seat kind of stuff. I can see why, but... Gary Oldman's probably going to win it. The predicted winner, they say. For best actor, let's just... Let's just say... Yeah, Dan Day-Lewis... Won, won it before, so... There is a possibility for Daniel Kaluuya. And he is uh, Camden. So he's a, he's a Londoner, so... That's who I'm... Hoping. Which are all good actors, so... But in the past, it's been it's been more films. Let's just say that best supporting actress. We've seen best actress already, so let's see who the best supporting ones are. Even Mary J. Blige. Oh. Uh, yeah, just sh the Shape of Water. That is quite an interesting film. I haven't seen it, but it's about some like fish person geezer and some deaf woman that communicates with it. It's a good story. So I hear. Best supporting actor. Oh, William Dafoe. I hope William Dafoe gets it. Obviously, that other actor in Shape of Water was. What's his name? Sam Rockwell. There's two from Shape of Water. Richard Jenkins. Good actor as well. Willie Harrison, of course. And then William Dafoe for The Florida Project. Uh, I don't know what that is. I haven't seen that. And Christopher Plummer in All the Money in the World. 
I've heard a lot about that film, about like gangster related stuff. But yeah, predicted winner is Sam Rockwell. That's good for him. Now, best director. This is an exciting one all the time. People look forward to this quite a lot. Guillermo del Toro is up there. Christopher Nolan for Dunkirk, I haven't seen that. I need to see these films. Guillermo del Toro, good director. Directed really interesting films over the years. Predicted winner, Guillermo del Toro. And then if you look at, we go down to best original screenplay. Bit different. Some of the nominees there. The big sick, I don't know what that is. Alright, three billboards is predicted again for that category. Now this is the one that shocked me. The best adapted screenplay. And as you can see, Logan is up. And which is interesting. Good film, Logan, obviously, but superhero film in in the Oscars, that's good, that's good to see. I mean, Black Panther, I thought that'd be in here some, somewhere, but it's not. But yeah, Logan, that's a surprise. Not a surprise, but like, different. That's a different one right there. Disaster Artist is up as well. A favourite of mine that I spoke about earlier. Tommy Wiseau made The Room, and then they made that as a remake. Call Me By Your Name, that's up as well. It was, they said, call me by you name earlier. It's obviously wrong. Anyway, yeah. That's the nominees this year. This year's nominees. And the next thing I'm going to do is run through last year's quickly. Like, just do a little video or photo montage. So let's go. Everyone to their feet. I would like to bury the hatchet with someone I've had issues with. The first time host Jimmy Kimmel, his ongoing Matt Damon obsession, taking center stage. He handed what turned out to be an Oscar caliber role over to his friend and made a Chinese ponytail movie instead. And Damon tried to kick his competition. Harold is the... Um, the Oscar host showing us he'd had enough of Damon on stage. Are you kidding me? Wait, hold on. Wait. Come on, what is with the music? Am I being played off? Seriously? You can't play me. I'm just presenting. You can't play me off. Wrap it up. I want to go home. <laughs> oh, my God. Matt Damon and Jimmy Kimmel, they just do not get on the what. I forgot about all this. I mean, I didn't actually watch it. I never actually watched it beginning to end. But I normally record it and watch the best bits. Um, obviously, uh, you probably already find out who, who's won before it's even over. I mean, people have their predictions. And I want to thank you for joining me um, on this video. Well, guys, I've just found this article. Face, though. Uh, here we go. If I can scroll to the right bit. Tommy Wiseau's cult so bad it's good movie. The Room is an inspiration for the Academy Award film The Disaster Artist. 
but enigmatic director wasn't invited. Oh well, they're a bit elitist, aren't they? Oh hi, red carpet. Well, they made a rubbish film that turned out to be so amazingly good and attractive to so many people, and the disaster artist really helped it get a bit of more credit. I mean, there's a book you can read all about the making of the room, but it's just it's classic. Like, no other film comes close in the way that was made. It's just hard to comprehend. Bring my motivational story, because, I mean, he had nothing. And to go from that to get getting that much fame, it's quite funny, really. Um, I nominate Tommy Wiseau to win an Oscar. Or the disaster artist, anyway. Um, come on, James Franco, no. It deserves an Oscar anyway, just for the epic failure that it was that turned out so good. Um, but yeah, remember that in life. You might be setting out to make the best e film ever, or to do the best at something and be the best. But you might not end up doing that, but you'll still get remembered. Or you might, or you might fail and just disappear into obscurity. Hey guys, it's me again. Before I go, I want to remind you to like, share, comment, subscribe. Another thing before I go, I am going to be starting a Twitch account and doing a bit more gaming. I might play, start playing Fortnite because everyone is playing Fortnite. Um, if you don't know what that game is, tune in on the next vlog when I talk about it in more detail. And I'll mention Twitch and why I'm starting a Twitch account. So stay tuned for that on the next one. And now I'm officially Signing off. Ciao.